going on, people? So, it's something that I wanted to tell you guys as far as, like, the business owners or the people who want to know how they can benefit from something that has to do with real estate. So, um, I've talked about it previously months, months ago. And um, I don't know who might have paid attention. I might have looked it up. But um, there's what's called surplus recovery, right? Where basically people who have lost their homes through foreclosure, right? The county that foreclosed their home if they didn't get the money from the equity that from that home through the foreclosure, then it's owed to them. It's their money. Now, the thing about that, the county does not want you to know about the money that's owed to you from the equity of the home. So it's people who have money that's sitting there waiting to be collected. Right? So that's when us as business owners take the opportunity or initiative to go about helping them get the money that's owed to them. You want to know what else we'll be doing? We'll be getting a percentage of that. Now, it won't be the majority of the money, but it'd be a small percentage, maybe 10% of that. Let's say um, the person is owed about $60,000 from the home, you know, which is the equity from the home. Well, what's 10% of 60%? Um, $6,000. So $6,000 for simply telling them, you know, like, so there's a way to go about it. It's like the information is hidden, right? So... You would get a list of the, pro- the properties of foreclosed homes from people who are owed that money through the county, right? And you would use what's called skip tracing. Now, this tool helps you with finding the people that you need to find. There's, there's a connection, you know, between the county and the, the people, right? So surplus recovery, it can be very lucrative to business owners, right? So um, for anybody who's tuning in, I'm just going to uh, recap on what I was talking about as far as with surplus recovery. So surplus recovery is when basically any person that was a homeowner, let's say they lost their home through foreclosure, right? So the equity in that home accumulates every year, right? Um, so what you would be doing for the people who didn't get the money from their home being foreclosed through the equity, they're owed that money that the county is just keeping. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to help them get it. When you help them get it, basically you're getting a percentage of that. So when you get a percentage of that, everybody wins. Everybody's happy. They didn't even know they they were owed that money. You know what I'm saying? So I was saying about this tool called or it's it's called skip tracing, right? Where you you look for people who are in the county of whichever state or city. It could be a, a person that lives in your city, your town. You know what I'm saying? You're helping them get money and you're getting a percentage of that. You know, this whole idea of, you know, surplus recovery, most people probably will overlook it, won't take it serious, probably wouldn't even um, bother to, to, you know, do the research on how it works. You know, um, I heard about it on YouTube. I also happened to be watching a video, right? You know how, like, they do the sponsor ads on the videos before you watch them? 
Well, I saw it happen to, you know, see this video and this guy was talking about surplus recovery. I watched his webinar. I was like, wow, this is amazing. It's like, this is really an opportunity, you know, within the real estate um, sector to help people, you know, people who need money. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it can also help you build your portfolio, you know what I'm saying, by using the money that you get from surplus recovery investing it back into your business and helping other people get money for their foreclosed homes that they lost. You know what I'm saying? Um, I consider it a fucking genius idea, you know? And um, I plan on taking action on that. Now is the right time because it might be some people down the line who are going to lose their home through foreclosure. Want to know why? Because this whole crisis, you know what I'm saying? Like, the recession. Now, when they open up everything, you know, all the all the um, cities and states open back up, a lot of people who um, haven't paid their rent or their mortgage are going to be three months behind either way. So, they're not going to be able to catch back up because they still have to pay their mortgage and rent. But they just got three, they had a three month break on that. But they still got to pay it. So, it's going to add more years to the loan that they owe for that mortgage. So, their foreclosed home could get. I mean, their home could get foreclosed, excuse me. So, you know, it, it's an opportunity within opportunities, an untapped market. People need to understand that opportunities like this, not a lot of people know about. So, you know, you can take advantage of it or you can leave it on the table, you know, but I'm just here to inform people about how I can help you. If you choose not to take advantage of it, that's you, but I'm going to I'm gonna take every opportunity that I can to get my business further. You know, my company, Always Touch Your Money, Inc., is about, let's see, almost, okay, I started in January, right? So, January, February, March, April, and it's now going to be May. So, I'm about four months a business, you know what I'm saying? Since within those four months, I've gotten a thousand dollar grant through the SBA Treasury, and I only had a four month old business. Not year, not four years, not five years. A four month old business, and I got funding for my business to use to invest. That's just the icing on the cake, right there. I mean, that's that's not even the icing on the cake. Excuse me. But there's more money out there for us. You know, you just got to find it, you know. Um, people who think some shit is just too good to be true, you're going to be sitting on the fence. And that's your fault if you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to try to entice you to want to take advantage or, you know, try to do something that's going to make you feel a different type of way about whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. You know, if you think a job is the safe way to do things and not take risks, that's that's you. Me, I'm an entrepreneur. I always find ways. I always, I'm always going to find a way. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm going to enjoy doing it. You know, with me being self-employed and doing Grubhub and all these other delivery apps, they're all stepping stones. They're, they're not something that I'm going to be doing permanently. But to use to elevate me and my business. Some people don't really get that. They think they're going to just be tied to a job all their life. Like, oh, if I lose this job, I'm going to find another one. But what happens if you can't find a new, another one? Then what you going to do? Are you going to sit there and, and cry about it? Are you going to find another opportunity to take other than a job and use it, 
you know, to, to secure you and your family. It's up to you. But that's all I wanted to say. Um, if you want to learn more about Surplus Recovery, feel free to reach out to me. You can message me on Facebook, whatever you decide to do. It's up to you.